Space exploration has captivated the imagination of humans for centuries. So let's take a trip through the history of American space exploration, starting with the first lunar landing in 1969 and ending with the present day. Buckle up and let's blast off. First of all, it's time to take a trip to the moon. Let's talk about the Apollo program. It was a series of manned space missions that were all about one thing, landing humans on the moon. And it was also NASA's way of showing the world that America was the ultimate space boss. The Apollo program was adopted in 1961 and officially ended in 1975. Each mission built upon the successes and lessons of the ones before it, starting with the first manned Apollo 7 mission in 1968 and culminating in the real star of the show, the epic Apollo 11 mission in 1969. On July 20th of that year, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to ever set foot on the moon, while Michael Collins held down the fort in the command module. The moon landing was a major milestone in space exploration. Millions of people around the world watched it. Armstrong's famous words, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Still echo through the ages as a testament to human achievement. It's no wonder it's considered one of the greatest moments in human history. NASA sent more missions to the moon after that, like the famous Apollo 13 mission. Unfortunately, it had to stop its moon landing due to some technical problems. The Apollo program not only showed off the United States' technical skills, but it also had a big impact on science in general. The moon landing let us collect samples from the moon and set up some instruments which helped us learn more about the moon's geology and history. It also inspired a lot of young people to study science and technology. But the moon landing was just the beginning. After the Apollo program ended in the 70s, space agencies around the world turned their attention to new goals and challenges. We decided to start exploring other celestial bodies. Voyager 1 and 2 are two spacecraft launched by NASA in 1977 as part of the Voyager program. Their main mission was to study the outer solar system and to provide the first close-up images of Jupiter and Saturn. But these guys were so cool that they went even further, also sending us data and stunning photos about Uranus and Neptune. And they didn't stop there. After completing their primary mission, they kept on trucking, exploring the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. In fact, Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth, having traveled over 14 billion miles from home. Voyager 1 and 2 both carry a special message for any extraterrestrial beings they may encounter, called the Golden Record. This record contains a collection of images and sounds from Earth, including music, spoken greetings in multiple languages, and even the sound of a kiss. I mean, who wouldn't want to be the first to receive a love letter from Earth in the form of a cosmic kiss? So, if you ever find yourself feeling lonely, just remember that there are two little probes somewhere carrying a little piece of humanity with them on their journey through the cosmos. On the other hand, this isn't very uplifting. Anyway, as the 1970s gave way to the 1980s, space exploration entered a new era with the launch of the Space Shuttle Program. The Space Shuttle Program was a manned spacecraft program run by NASA from 1981 to 2011. It was the first spacecraft to be used for multiple missions with a reusable orbiter that could be launched vertically like a rocket and landed horizontally like an airplane. The Space Shuttle fleet consisted of four orbiters, the Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, and Atlantis. The program flew a total of 135 missions, with the first shuttle, the Columbia, launching on April 12, 1981. This program really paved the way for future manned missions. It helped us in our next crazy project, building the International Space Station. Yep, as we entered the 90s, scientific madmen decided to build a space station in Earth's orbit. The International Space Station, or ISS for short, is a collaboration between several different countries. It was launched on November 20th, 1998. The station is 357 feet from end to end, which is about the size of an American football field. It also weighs almost a million pounds. 
It has been continuously occupied since 2000. The ISS is the longest operating spacecraft in history, and right now, it's home to a crew of many astronauts from various countries. Living on the ISS is no easy feat. The astronauts have to deal with zero gravity, limited privacy, and a strict schedule. But it's not all work and no play. The ISS has a few amenities to make life more comfortable, like a gym and a kitchen. Although the main purpose of the ISS isn't just to provide a cozy home for astronauts, it's a platform for scientific research and experimentation in a microgravity environment. The ISS has been used to study everything from human health and biology to material science and meteorology. In addition to its scientific contributions, the ISS also serves as a symbol of international cooperation. It's truly a one-of-a-kind structure orbiting Earth at an altitude of about 250 miles and traveling at a speed of about 17,500 miles per hour. Talk about a space-age time machine! And if you ever get a chance to visit the ISS, which, let's be real, it's pretty unlikely for most of us, be sure to check out the food. The astronauts have some pretty creative recipes like tortillas and peanut butter sandwiches using ingredients that can withstand the rigors of space travel. Bon appétit! Around the same time, we did another important thing. We launched the famous Hubble telescope into space. It was launched into low Earth orbit in 1990 and remains in operation today, orbiting the Earth at an altitude of about 332 miles. It's named after astronomer Edwin Hubble, who got famous for discovering that the universe is constantly expanding. The Hubble telescope captured some of the most amazing images of outer space that we've ever seen. It's also helped us understand the universe in ways we never thought possible. For example, thanks to the Hubble, we studied some very distant planets and even found evidence of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies. And on December 25th, 2021, we launched the Hubble telescope's grandson, the James Webb Telescope. It's much cooler and advanced, and it already sends us some gorgeous and super detailed photos. Let's hope it will be as great as its predecessor. And now, we're finally moving on to the 21st century. So what is NASA up to now? First of all, in the past few decades, we've discovered thousands of exoplanets, planets outside of our solar system, and some of them might even be habitable for life. Talk about cosmic real estate! But we're not just looking for life on other planets, we're also trying to make it a reality. The US has been leading the charge in the search for life on Mars, sending rovers like Curiosity to explore the red planet's surface since 2012. These missions have provided valuable insights into the geology, atmosphere, and potential habitability of Mars. And we're not stopping there. Future missions are in the works to bring Mars samples back to Earth for analysis. Can you imagine holding a piece of another planet in your hand? Today, space agencies around the world are working on new technologies and plans for future exploration, including the return of humans to the moon and the eventual colonization of other planets in our solar system. And who knows, maybe one day we'll actually have vacation homes on other celestial bodies. Overall, the history of American space exploration is full of exciting moments and groundbreaking achievements. The possibilities are endless when it comes to space exploration, and we can't wait to see what the future holds. The universe is a big place, and there's so much left to discover. Let's hope we don't run into any space monsters out there. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.